I'm Indira Kannan at the Democratic National Convention in Denver, and I have with me Ambassador Wendy Sherman, a senior foreign policy advisor to Senator Barack Obama. Uh, thank you for joining us. Delighted. Uh, you know, uh, the Indian subcontinent has uh, certainly emerged as a region of interest in the uh, presidential campaign. Now, um, let's start with the most topical subject, uh, Pakistan, the uh, recent rift between uh, Mr. Zardari and Nawaz Sharif. Uh, what do you think uh, uh, the Obama campaign's view would be uh, of the impact of this uh, split uh, on uh, the issue of political stability in Pakistan. Well, Senator Obama has been very clear. He's quite concerned about political stability in Pakistan. Uh, he, in fact, has been very outspoken that America made a wrong choice when we went into Iraq, when instead we should have been focused on Afghanistan, on the Fatah region, and for that matter on our relationship with Pakistan. He's also been very clear that the United States uh, had a two one-person policy toward uh, Pakistan, that it was a Musharraf policy as opposed to a Pakistan policy, and he is very clear that there needs to be a Pakistan policy uh, that we not only have to root out terrorists, we not only have to help Afghanistan get back out on its feet and get the Taliban not in charge, uh, but we have to help the people of Pakistan. Uh, he has supported with Senator Biden a broad assistance package over a 10-year period, uh, and he's laid out a number of things that we need to do. But we are all quite concerned uh, because Pakistan, of course, has nuclear weapons. Uh, in that light, what do you make of this uh, recent report that uh, the uh, U.S. Uh, envoy to the U.N., Ambassador Khalil Zad, has been uh, having informal talks with uh, Mr. Zardari? What's your take on that? Well, I don't know the truth of those reports. I do know uh, that it appears that the State Department uh, actually asked him not to do that and wasn't very happy about it. What I think is very important here is that we have a U.S. government that looks not only on a country-to-country -country approach, but a broad regional approach and make sure that American national security interests and the interests of the world come together in a strategy and an approach at a very high level. Uh, India is a country of uh, a great uh, devotion by the United States. Uh, there is uh, an enormous uh, U.S. India population here, as there is a Pakistani population. Uh, and so uh, I think that uh, President Obama uh, wants to make sure that we look broadly uh, and that we look after all of our national security interests. What uh, would uh, what is the